Hey, what is up guys? This is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what is transition is? When you are editing a video, when you are jumping from one clip to another clip, the transition happens suddenly. To have a smooth motion, you need to use the transition effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. So how you can do that? I've already opened a project that we have made on our first episode. If you haven't watched that video, then you can watch that video from here or you can download the files from the description below and you can open that file in Adobe Premiere Pro and you can follow along with me. So here is the project, right? If you open the project, you will get the files just like that. So I have already placed some clips. This is the first clips. This is the second clip. This is the third clip and along with that I have used a music clip and when I'm playing it back you can see the clip is jumping from one clip to another suddenly but I don't want to have that I want a smooth motion when it is transition between the clips right to use a transition on the middle of your clip you need to go to the effects panel if you don't see effects panel then you can go to window and from here you have to click on this effects panel then this panel will appear you can go to here which is video transition click on this arrow and then you'll see all the transition folders so these are the basic transition that you can use you can also use third party transition you can download the transition from the internet or you can make your own transition that you can use in adobe premiere pro for your project so here i will use the default transition in adobe premiere pro the first one and the most commonly used transition is cross dissolve and this is my default transition you can see there is a blue line around the cross dissolve icon right this doesn't have that blue line because this is my default transition if i want to apply my default transition on any clips then i need to right click here on the middle of the clips and then i can click apply default transition that will apply the default transition here that is what the cross dissolve do right and now if i play it back you can see the video is transitioning very smoothly and from here if you want to decrease the duration of your transition then you can just click and drag this here if you take your mouse cursor here then you'll see the cursor have changed and now you can drag it here and thus the transition duration will decrease if i play it back again you can see that transition have happened very fast right so this is the basic of using a transition let's have another example let's get back to our program folder and from here i'm just using this clip i'm just dragging this clip here and now I'm dragging this clip here, right? And between this clip, I want to apply a transition. If I go to on our effects folder and then if I click and drag the cross dissolve here, then you can see here is a message which is saying transitions insufficient media. The transition will contain repeated frames. So what is the solution? In that kind of scenario, you need to trim the clip a little bit to use the transition properly. So for the first clip you need to trim it from the last point a little bit and for the second clip you need to trim it from the beginning a little bit so that it will have some information before the clip begins and after the clip ends right so that is the perfect way to apply a transition you need to cut the clip in such a way so that it has some information before the clip begins and after the clip ends right now if i click and drag it here and if i then click this cross dissolve here I can apply the transition smoothly it will not show any warning here right so here the transition have been applied right so next see how we can make your default transition if i click here then if i click apply default transition it will apply the default transition here which is the cross dissolve transition you can see there is a blue line around the cross dissolve transition right so whenever i will click apply default transition it will apply the cross dissolve transition on our clip so if you want to change the cross dissolve transition from the default transition to another transition then you can right click here on any transition that you like then right click and click set selected as default transition now deep to black is your default transition whenever you will right click on any clips then you can apply the default transition and that transition will be deep to black so if i play it back that is not cross dissolve anymore the deep to black transition is my default transition now but i like to use cross dissolve a lot that is the reason i'm selecting cross dissolve as my default transition so there are a lot of transition here you can just play 
around with the transition if you want to use slide transition then you can go here and from here if we want to use slide transition i can click and drag this transition here in between my clips and now the video is sliding right if you want to change the speed of the transition then you can take your cursor here on the timeline and then you can click and drag it to make it shorter now if you play it back the slide effect will happen very quickly right if i make it more shorter then you can see it is happening so quickly and now if you want to change the direction of the sliding movement it is sliding from the left but i want to have a transition that will slide from the right for that kind of scenario you need to select the transition and then you need to go to window and select effects control panel this panel will appear and here you can change the direction if i click here now the slide will happen from the right side right if i click on the top arrow here now if i play it back you can see the slide is happening from the top right also you can use transition for audio too if you go to here on the audio transition folder which is here and here you will see there are three transitions that you can use for your audio too so that's all that is how you can use transition in adobe premiere pro i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye